Flood watch remains in effect through late tonight. The flood watch continues for a portion of Indiana, including the following areas, Bartholomew, Brown, Davies, Decatur, Green, Jackson, Jennings, Knox, Lawrence, Martin, Monroe, and Sullivan. Through late tonight an additional half inch to inch of rain is possible through this evening, even though there may be periods of light rainfall at times today. This rain falling on already saturated ground could lead to flooding. Flooding of low-lying areas, poor drainage areas, and along creeks, streams, and rivers is possible. A flood watch means there is a potential for flooding, based on current forecasts. You should monitor later forecasts, and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. The National Weather Service in Indianapolis has issued a flood warning for portions of the following rivers in central and southern Indiana. The East Fork White, Muscatatuck, White, Tippecanoe and Wabash rivers. Lowland flooding will develop along rivers in central and southern Indiana. Significant flooding is not expected. Flooding will affect some local and state roads, low agricultural land and some river parks. Flooding will continue into the first week of December. Rainfall of 2 to nearly 4 inches has fallen in much of the Wabash River Basin since Saturday evening. Flood crests will range from near flood stage to 6 feet above flood stage. The last time flooding occurred in central and southern Indiana was in June. Motorists should never drive into flood water. Turn around and go another way. Keep children away from flooded areas. Recreational and agricultural interests should remain alert to changing river conditions. For detailed flood information, go to weather.gov slash INDA on the web. From the blue menu bar on the left side of the page, click on Rivers and Lakes.